Conspiracy News 31. Two more and Den got to do it. He got to get back on YouTube. Den Keeper, man. He made a deal with the devil. <laughs> JK, man. Got new music in the background. Can't believe I've done 30 of these, man. Like, subscribe, and comment on all that. Now let's get to it. All right, apparently... Uh, the, the astronaut that took this famous picture of the Earth, which is fake to me. Apollo 8 crew member Bill Anders on December 24th, 1968. Key uh, day, just the date alone, Christmas. At 7, 5, 75.49.07, while in orbit around the moon, showing the Earth rising from the third time above in the lunar horizon. The lunar horizon is approximately 7 to 80 kilometers from the space aircraft. Width of the photograph area of the lunar horizon is about 175 kilometers. The landmass visible just above the Terminator line is West Africa. Ah, I see that. The, the ph phenomenon is only visible to an observer in motion relative to the lunar surface because of the moon's syn synchronic synchro rotation relative to the Earth. The same side of the moon is always facing Earth. How's that even possible if it's spinning? The Earth appears to be stationary in the lunar sky in order to observe the effect of the Earth rising or setting over the moon's horizon. The observer must travel towards or away from the point on the lunar surface where the Earth is most directly overhead, centered in the sky. Otherwise, the Earth's parent motion visibility would change and be limited to one growing larger, smaller as the orbital distance between the two body changes. Slight apparent centered in the sky. Slight apparent movement of the Earth due to the eccentricity of the moon's orbit. The effect being called liberation, rotation of the Earth. Two craters visible on the image were named eight. Uh, fake, bro. Anyways. Well, he apparently died in an air crash. On the 7th. At age 90. Eight for Kobe. NASA Group Three, the fourteen. All connected: Gen uh, Gerald Ford and Jimmy Carter. He was born in 1933. <laughs> oh shit! He was born in Hong Kong. Wow, that's crazy. I hope that all of you back on Earth can see what we mean when we say it's a rather foreboding horizon, a rather, rather dark and uh, unappetizing looking place. Unappetizing. He's well known for that picture that promotes the Earth round because I don't even believe it's that round. I don't even think that's a real picture. Let's go to his, okay. While flying the vintage T-34 registered to him. Nah, that wasn't an accident, bro. The aircraft crashed into the waters of the North Punjab Sound between Jones Island and Orca's Island. Man, that looks like a beautiful spot. and was seen by witnesses as going down into a small channel between the two islands, then sinking after catching fire. After witnesses reported seeing the plane take a nosedive and crash to the water, a search was launched by the U.S. Coast Guard and the San Juan County Sheriff's Department. Later that day, Anders' son, Greg, confirmed the death of his father and that his body has been recovered. Beginning with his Air Force career, Anders had logged over 8,000 flight hours. 
So you tell me, conspiracy or truth? The astronaut who captured a famous first color photo of Earth from space has died in a plane crash. He was the only person aboard a small aircraft. He was why? Why in the world would you be piloting a, a aircraft at 90? God bless his soul. Oh, just so happens Illuminati symbolism in the article kind of confirming the death of me. He was in the Apollo 8. But he said he felt there was more important national patriotic and exploration reasons for going ahead with the mission. If their mission paved the way for the first moon landing, Apollo 11, seven years later, when Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon. All BS. Let's see. Let's see if we can get any pictures. Hold on. William Andrews. Let's see if we can get some pictures or videos. Nah, nothing. Is that it? No, I highly doubt it. Ooh. Wow. 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 It's just to keep pushing the NASA agenda and the round earth agenda and all that. So, uh, you tell me what you think. So Diddy got his key revoked. He gave it back to Mayor Adams. Their cancel culture is in full effect, man. You don't do what the master says, you gonna get cut off financially and powerfully and all that. Final, following shocking security footage of Sean Diddy Combs that we showed last time. The mother is seeking some distance between themselves and the former star. Most recently, New York City Mayor Adams rescinded Combs' key to the city. According to TMZ, Adams presented the honor to Combs on September 9th, 2023. Only two months later, Ventura sued Combs for rape, human trafficking, sex, uh, domestic abuse. Combs and Ventura settled out of court the day after Ventura filed a lawsuit in May. Security footage of that we saw, he was deeply disturbed by the footage and he returned the key on June 10th. So that's that. And we have another questionable young rapper dead from an overdose. They push this all the time, especially for the hip hop culture and the urban community. Uh, people overdosing on drugs. I mean, it's in the white community too, but that's why I say urban community. And the ladies we got, I didn't even know about her. It's crazy how many artists we don't even know of until after they pass. Something that J. Cole even mentions on his little dirt feature. So, Gucci Man, who has accusations of being a clone after he went to jail and complete, he completely came out and was like a different human. The way he looked, the way he talked, everything. Like, I did. Like, we, let's just go back to that for a second. Oh, look, look, look. Here we go. Here we go. De you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Remember that? That was one of the biggest clues. One of the biggest clues was he, he got a crazy tattoo on his face of an ice cream cone because he used to say burr on some cold shit. He came out, that shit was gone. 
That shit just disappears off your face. Yes, we could get it removed. It was just weird. I'm telling you, his whole body frame changed. I'm gonna show you his body transformation. Oh, look, look, look. YouTube blocked the Angelie you asked was, does he know, man, if Gucci, Gucci man cloned? Crazy. Where's the... See, thank you. That's what I want. We did see it before, okay. Okay, we did see it before. All right, cool. This is perfect. This is perfect. All right, cool. Let's stay. Okay, so basically, another rapper on his label died earlier last year, I believe. Another other rapper died. Looks like a different person. But now a lot of people are saying this. His this is his sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had reportedly had an overdose. She's young, and it it really don't make sense. So. Who Shiesty had a hit back in blood, and that's what they're basically doing. Black and blood. He's he's um in jail right now. He's in jail right now, serving a sentence. He was sentenced to five years and three months in prison. So, and then another rapper. Gucci Mane's artist Hot Boy West was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Pusha Ice was sentenced to over five years for firearm conspiracy. Earlier in the year, Fujiano received five years sentence from a fleeing while on bond for a firearm possession. And sadly, Big Scar passed away due to an accidental prescription or drug overdose. If that's not a conspiracy, I don't know what is. In subsequent, in January this year, Matt Critter faced arrest in and charges for murder and in February of this year FTO set was arrested after bomb was revoked for weapon and drug charge. That label's cursed. If you're a rapper, do not leave my husband alone. He signs his artists to help them and give them a better life. So why people keep dying? According to Woods family, he died from an accidental prescription overdose at his girlfriend's house. He was 22, 11. It's just very, very, this is her young, God bless her soul. So she was put on life support after a heart attack or possibly drug overdose. And um, they pulled her and on June 11th, 0 to 9 11, she was pronounced dead in Dallas, Texas. Where none other than your favorite, President Kennedy, was killed as well. JFK. Come on, bro. It's, like I said, it's all connected. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She was 26. 6 plus 2 is 8. That's old to 9-11. That's old to Kobe, too. You heard? And that's all for Conspiracy News 31. And... Keep in mind, well, oh, and I'm going to do a special on how there's been a lot of World Trade Center videos lately. Like, I'm talking a lot. I'm talking a lot. Let, look, there's a little preview. Texaco World Trade Center. Wait, I know y'all didn't see this, so watch. Watch. Plane flies right through that bitch. Let us show you the lengths Texaco sometimes has to drill to find more energy. Drill. This is New York's World Trade Center. 
Imagine drilling the length of 15 World Trade Centers. 15 World Trade Centers. That's almost four miles. Well, that's how deep Texaco miles. Almost four miles. 9-11 right there. We don't make it That's almost... We just report and document this shit. No re-entry on 11. Re-entry on 11. That's crazy, G. Four miles. Well, that's how deep Texaco has to how drill. Four miles program down program at a million show. dollars a mile to find more how energy for you show. here in America. Texaco, working to keep your trust. Crazy. Watching the floor numbers in that staircase is incredibly haunting. Not only did this air before now, but it also aired before the 93 bomber, which confirmed how damn hard it was to use the stairs at the WTC complex. Wow. Wow. Oh, here's another one. Here, I think I showed this one before. Pictures so real, you won't believe your eyes. Dolby ProLogic surround sound so exciting, your eyes won't believe your ears. Crazy. Like, look, look, look I, I, let me look for another one. Let me look for another one. Wait, Erie WTC. This week, September 10th through the 16th at 7 p.m., an outdoor dance series, Evening Stars, on stage at the Twin Towers. Presented by Visa with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Featuring Trisha Brown. Dance Theater of Harlem. Paul Taylor Dance. And more. Free. Call 212-435-6600 or visit panynj.gov. Creepy, yo. Creepy. Halliburton commercial? No way. No way. Exclusive. Seen that before. No. Great meeting, Jim. Nah. Should I give you my notes? Nope. Should we prepare a report? Nah, no. bro. Should we coordinate our schedules for nah, next week? Nah, uh, bro. Should we go over this? Nah, Great meeting, man. Jim. Should I give you my notes? On nope. that note, we prepare report? 31. No. It's over. Should we coordinate our schedules for next week? Uh -huh. 33 we might be go over the sales for... projections? Uh, I don't think so. Review the earnings forecasts? Uh, no. Should I? Shut up so you can watch the game. Wow. There you go. Wow. One way. Can't make it up, G. I'm out.